Today we're going to talk about trolleys thins. This material is used quite extensively in the awards engraving for trophy plates, for plates for plaques, it's used a lot for ID tags, it's used for our business card holders. The nice thing about this material is it's only 20 thou thick. Most material you find in plastic is, is 62 thou thick and in some cases might look a little bit too thick for a certain product. This is a great product for the Trophy Awards engraving industry and a lot of people are using it for that right now because it will mimic a metal plate. The nice thing about this material is it actually comes with an adhesive on it. This makes it really easy for us because we can kiss cut it, which basically means that we're going to laser engrave the actual logo and then what we're going to do then is we're actually going to run our cut down here but not all the way through the back of the material. This allows us to peel the material off and then stick it directly right on the actual product we're working. This saves a lot of time and if you think about it, if you had a metal plate, you'd have to laser engrave it, you'd have to shear it, if you want a decorative corner on it, you'd have to notch it, then you'd have to put tape on it. It's a lot of labor involved in that process. Using the trolley thins eliminates a lot of that labor, which in a lot of cases can keep your costs down when you're working with a large volume of engraving. This material is quite easy to use. All we need to do is peel off the back. And that's quite easy on this material here. You just get this going. You'll notice that it's very easily peeled back. And this is the gold. It comes in a variety of colors. A lot of people are using gold, silver, sort of typically our, our most common colors that we work with. As I mentioned, I'm going to, on my vector cuts, I'm not going to go all the way through the material. This will allow me to peel off the material and place this on the table. A lot of problems with this material is because it's thin, it tends to want to bow a little bit more. For this reason, I like to tape this material down. I can put masking tape around the outside of the edges, and that'll hold the edges down, but sometimes the middle will come up. A couple of ways to get around that, I can use engraver's table tape, or I can actually do a little technique that we used to use on the rotary machines. And basically what we do on that is we just cut a small rectangle here. Again, typically you'll want to do this flat. We peel this back. And there's my backing taken off. And I want to do the other side. Again, we're going to do that here. We're just going to go cut, cut, and peel this off. Now, in this case here, I'm going to actually take the plates off and put them right on the actual product, the plaque, in this, in this case. So I don't really need to worry about putting this backing paper back on or having this adhesive exposed. If you had to sh give this plate, this sheet to your customer, which some people do, then you could put the backing paper back on after you're done. So again, I'm just going to peel that off. And now I've got two adhesives. One here, one here, and I'll stick that down on the table. I'm not using a cutting table. I don't have to go all the way through the material. I can use my solid table. Okay, that's the beauty of doing this type of process. I don't need a cutting table. It makes it a lot easier for me to place this material down. On my machine, the table's actually ferromagnetic. I could even use magnets if I want. 